Hello, welcome to my channel where nerdy is cool. And this time I have the Wham Bam Carbon Fiber Flexi Plate. And this is a really fascinating piece of tech here. Um, well, let me start with the basics. Uh, the build plate is 258 by 258. And you may or may recall that the Bamboo Lab machines that I mentioned, they all share the same print volume of 256 by 256 by 256. Uh, the one that came on my printer was this textured bed and I've had this for the year that I've had the machine. And overall it's been pretty good, but I think one of the issues with being a bed slinger where the bed is swinging back and forth very quickly is I have had, even with PLA, I've had a couple prints, especially if there's a lot of small parts in here, even if I've cleaned it, uh, I you know, the, the Dawn dish soap or you know, IPA, 91%, paper towel, the whole bit, uh, I still will get some fails. So I was pretty excited when Wham Bam sent this over for review. And I've been doing a lot of stuff with Wham Bam for years. They have sent me stuff to try out. Uh, I've offered them feedback on some of their products. So uh, they're definitely a friend of mine and a friend of the channel. So. But having some of the frustrating fails I've had with the stock textured bed and even the other side, I've tried that side too. I wanted to see by trying out this new bed and checking out all the information they offer on their website and guidelines, if that would help prevent some of the fails I was seeing. Now, first of all, I just want to show you that this is the carbon fiber and they, the way they manufacture their carbon fiber is they have a very, <laughs> they have a very specific process they use. Um, and they also have this attached uh, using a 3M adhesive uh, to their usual spring steel. So when you have your 3D print, this is a smooth surface. So this is not gonna leave a carbon fiber like texture on the bottom of your prints. This is a smooth surface. And so that's what this is. And uh, if you're going to use this on a non Bamboo Lab machine, you're gonna wanna order your own magnet to have this stick to. But as I was saying on my Bamboo Lab A1 machine, uh, I ran this through a whole bunch of test prints and I'm going to share on the screen with you here uh, some of the specs on the website so I can better explain to you how this bed works. Okay, here on the website you can see here it is carbon fiber on flexi plate 258 by 258 and, and they're selling it for 59 US dollars and I know some of my viewers will think that's maybe a little on the expensive side compared to some of the things they see elsewhere but they make good stuff and they're definitely worth it. Uh, down here in the description, they talk about how they make their carbon fiber. Um, it's, again, this is a plate that's virtually indestructible. Um, they talk about all the processes they use to make it. So uh, in short, this paragraph here, they indicate that they have a very specific process they create this with. Um, so it's, uh, uh, they put a lot of work and, and effort into this. The other thing I found very interesting on their website is they have this build surface comparison on the different, you know, a PEX surface or a powder painted Ultim PEI versus the carbon fiber bed surface, which we have here. So in this first column, we have the, or the first row, we have the attention points and the PEX surface, you know, the groove and cool, you have to be extra care PETG and ASA because they can stick too good to PEX. And then when we get to our, uh, uh, Painted, you know, PEI, again, they mentioned attention with thin brims or thin layers, attention with PTG and TPU against bonding. And as we mentioned with our carbon fiber right here, we have to have attention printing the first layers above 270, which none of my prints were 270 or higher, and with the touch leveling. And, and we'll get into that uh, a, a little bit later. Right here, what is this bed best for? So PEX is a good all around. And same thing with PEI, easy to use, tough grip, robust against damage. And then the carbon fiber, it's all around surface, amazing, great with PTG, ASA, filaments do not cause damage. And we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, bottom of the print on the uh, PEX, it's smooth, uh, textured, obviously textured. And with this one, very smooth. Ease of use. PEX, and yes, uh, PEX, you have to be careful. There are some instances where you need to use uh, glue stick or other um, adhesion promoters or chemicals that make it easy to remove after. Uh, the uh, painted is easy, and again, the carbon fiber is easy. Filaments that may cause damage, right here, self-explanatory, and I have not been able to damage my carbon fiber plate. Not that I'm trying, but I have not had any issues. First layer grip with PEX, pretty good. 
the uh, texture pretty good and then carbon fiber strong and part release when cool as with most of these if you let this bed cool it's going to come right off preparation now i have a lot of the wham bam pex beds and i do find that i do I do the steel wool or the scotch bright and then the IPA uh, after several prints as needed. And just like the bed that came at my Babel Lab A1, wipe with IPA. Some people swear by the dish soap method, either work. Uh, for the carbon fiber bed, all I used was IPA and a paper towel. That worked well. Now, as far as print sides or how many sides, the PEX is just one sided. Those are the other Wham Bam beds. Uh, the bamboo lab bed that came on my machine is two-sided and the carbon fiber obviously we only have carbon fiber on one side It's one-sided And release of thin layers and brims easy um, Yes with the textured bed it can be difficult and the carbon fiber was very easy Resistance to damage um, Pex I would say is medium. I have managed to rip a few when the PTG stuck too well uh, let's see the um, powder painted. Yeah, I have yet to kill any powdered PEI uh, yet and the carbon fiber surface is very tough. Again, I've had no issues in all my testing so far. Okay, let's go on to the next graphic that they share on their website. So various filaments on Wham Bam carbon fiber bed and this is really the magic guide to success with this build plate. Uh, they talk about exactly the material type, bed temperature, you know, a lot of this stuff you already know based on your material or your slicer will know it. Uh, first layer nozzle temperature. The most important things for me are, are basically this column here because all of my printers are inside enclosures. So they mentioned whether a glue stick or an adhesion promoter, say Magigu or others would be needed. So ABS, yes, I did test prints with ABS and it says it needed it, so I used it. And uh, as I'll show you in the videos, they worked. I didn't have any ASA or nylon or PC, but PETG, uh, I didn't use anything as it says here and had really good luck with those. PLA was interesting. Um, they recommend it. And I had some prints where, as I'll show, uh, where it worked fine. And then some where I didn't use any adhesion promoter and I wished I had. <laughs> Uh, and the rest of these are pretty self-explanatory here. You know, the same thing with uh, polypropylene and, and TPU. So this is a piece of paperwork that they include uh, with the uh, print bed. And if you follow this guide, you're going to have great success with the carbon fiber bed. Just want to do a quick pause right here and say thank you for watching. You know, the YouTube algorithm is brutal for small channels like myself. So I just wanted to point out that I do have a Patreon website. So if you like what you're seeing here and you want to chip in a little bit to help me keep it going. I very much appreciate it. I have different levels of donation that you can uh, select from. And if you're not into Patreon, I also have Buy Me A Coffee. Those links are down below in the description and I thank you for considering them. Okay, so back here to the carbon fiber build plate. I have all kinds of cool footage here I can show you. So one of the first things I wanna show is I tried some prints with out using any adhesion promoter whatsoever because it listed it as maybe optional. <laughs> so, and that's what I did. And you can kind of see the results here. If I did one print at a time, they came out okay. But if I did a whole bunch, like if I filled the bill plate with something, eventually, and this was the same thing that's happened to me with my textured bed, somehow, for some reason, and again, I suspect it's the velocity of the bed swinging back and forth, uh, something will come loose and it spells disaster. All right, so I tried a different model. This time I used the uh, glue stick on the uh, bed and much better success this time. Okay, PETG, it says we don't have to do anything to the surface. So after I had done the PLA print, I used IPA, cleaned it off, got rid of all that glue stick and I did the mini calibration test. And as you can see here, it printed just fine, didn't come off the bed. so. Success. This time around, I decided to do a bunch of the same model all around the center. I just wanted to see if anything would go flying off of there and no issues whatsoever. Next up was ABS and as they recommend, it requires glue stick. So I used IPA paper towel, cleaned off the surface and put glue stick all over it and started the ABS print. It's one of the little storage trays. And as you can see here, printed perfectly fine. Okay, we're at that part of the video where 
What do I like? What don't I like? Well, I really, really like this. Uh, I like that it's a virtually indestructible surface. It's very rugged. Uh, it's got the spring steel that I'm used to from all the Wham Bam surfaces. And beyond that, you know, on their website, they have basically given you all the information you need to be successful with this surface. So depending on what you're printing, whether, you know, it's, you know, our PLAs, PLA silks, you know, your ABS, ASA, you know, polypropylene or stuff like that. You go to that reference chart that I referred to earlier and they tell you exactly what you need to do to make this work. So I like it a lot. As far as cons, I really don't have any cons whatsoever. I mean, this is just designed to be a really, really rugged uh, print surface. And so far, I mean, I've got a lot of hours and I'm looking around here and I don't even see a ding or a d nothing. I mean, and I'm usually pretty good at screwing up my bed surfaces. So this thing has been fantastic. I also want to mention that there is a coupon code down below that I'm going to list here in the bottom of the screen. It's WNIC2022, where nerdy is cool, 2022. And that is a coupon code that will save you 10%. So when you're getting ready to check out and buy your build surface or anything else from Wham Bam, put in that coupon code, save some money. And yes, we do earn a small commission for that. So that helps fund our little enterprise here, making videos that you guys love. Okay, that's it for this time. If you want to see what I'm up to, please check out my social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course here on YouTube. So that's all. I look forward to your comments in the comment section down below. I appreciate you watching and please, please, please print safe.